It's all in the wrist, or at least that's where it starts. Calgarian Rob McLeod has won his fifth consecutive world championship, winning gold in an event called Self-Caught Flight. His winning totals include a throw-run catch of 82 meters. McLeod has 13 world championships under his belt and six Guinness World Records. To talk about his win and tell us a bit more about the world of disc, I'm joined in studio by Rob McLeod. Rob, thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. So, this is this thing, this event you just won, I have never heard of before, so I'm going to assume that I'm not the only one. <laughs> Let's start at the beginning. What is a self-caught flight? So, just backtracking a bit. So, the overall, I was at the World Overall Championships. Yeah. Frisbee is like track and field. You've probably heard of ultimate, probably heard of disc golf. The overall is like the heptathlon. So, there's seven different events, and I won the self-caught flight event. And th what is that? So, very simply, you throw Frisbee, you run, and catch your own throw with one hand. And we measure how long the Frisbee is in the air and how long uh, from where you throw it to where you catch it. So how, how far did you go? So I went 82 meters for the distance and it was in the air for 12.12 seconds. Wow, and the second place person, how did they do, do you know? Uh, not, not that close actually. He had a couple big ones that he wasn't able to get to. He's a 15 year old from Sweden. Oh wow. So he can run a lot. He, <laughs> he went big, <laughs> wasn't able to get there. Went big but couldn't come home. Uh, so you mentioned that this is a heptathlon event. Uh, what else are, what other events are you doing and which one is your favorite? Definitely self-caught flight. I'm the five-time consecutive world champion in that. But oh, wow. distance, disc golf, freestyle, accuracy, discathon, and double disc court. So it tests a variety of skills. There's some team events. There's a lot of individual events. Some running, some throwing, some catching. Really tests your skills with different kinds of frisbees, with different wind conditions. There's different kinds of frisbees? There's many different kinds of frisbees. <laughs> Talk to me about that. What kind? Like, this looks like a regular frisbee in front of you right so now. So this one is for a dog. Okay. So it's dog safe. It's also really good for kids to use for throwing and catching. There's a disc that you can use for ultimate frisbee that's a little heavier. A disc for disc golf, which you never want to catch, that goes really, really far. There's uh, discs for trick. You can do different trick discs. Uh, many running. different kinds, but you want to make sure you have a good one. Yep. So, you know, those cheap plastic ones <laughs> that you throw them and they just fall over, those are not good ones. I'm learning so much right now. Uh, now, you are also a world record holder. We were talking off camera a minute ago. Uh, you hold six Guinness Book of World Records. Which one is your favorite? My favorite for sure is the longest flying disc throw caught by a dog. So very simply, I throw Frisbee, the dog runs and catches it, and that's the longest throw to a dog. And what is the record that you hold? Uh, 402 feet, so it's about one and a half football fields. That is a long way for a little dog to run to catch yeah, that. And he actually is really small, so he is a whippet. Whippets are very fast. He's about, he was about 30 pounds. But you look at a greyhound, which is the fastest dog, and they're 60, 70 pounds. They're a lot bigger. Wow. Have you tried it with another dog since this one that you did it with? I probably will never attempt that one again. It was He was a one in a million dog. I do compete with other dogs, but he was so fast that you need that speed uh, in order to have a chance in order to record. catch it. Yeah. Now, you also have turned uh, disc into a bit of a career. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, so for the last five years, I've been speaking in schools full time. I've done about 400 schools all over the world and teaching kids what's possible with Frisbee, really encouraging them to try different sports. The reason that I'm good at Frisbee is I've played a lot of other sports growing up. It wasn't just Frisbee. Right. And you know, living in Calgary, there's a lot of Olympic athletes. We don't have five-year-olds bobsledding. <laughs> they're <laughs> no. playing soccer, they're learning to run, they're doing track and field. And so I encourage kids to try different things. It doesn't have to just be a sport. Um, move your body, try and get away from screens, and above all, don't give up. I was telling you, my, my Guinness World Record with Davy was 75 attempts, um, and I didn't actually get the record until my 60-second throw. So I fail all the time, and I tell kids, don't give up. If you don't try, you'll never be able to do it, um, but if you don't give up. How do, they, how do they take that message from you? They love it. Uh, I do trick shots with a Frisbee, so it's an easy way to say, hey, I'm not going to get it in the first try every time, so I try and throw a Frisbee in the basketball net. And the best is on the first try. It was in front of like 700 kids. The worst, it took me like 55 tries. And as I'm going, I'm asking the kids, should I quit yet? Should I quit yet? They're like, no, 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 keep going. <laughs> and it took a while, but yeah. I can't quit. Like the kids are like, you have to keep trying. Like, Don't give up. And you always make it eventually. Uh, I think I've like not made one. And that was a massive gym. And I tried like 30 attempts and it was just, it wasn't going to work but the kids got to see like how hard it actually was, which was a good message in itself. Yeah, definitely. Uh, what do you think it is that draws people to Frisbees? Mm -hmm. I love this question <laughs> because really like, I have friends who are in their 70s and 80s, still playing Frisbee, still at a competitive level. My friend Phil, 71 and a half years old, just broke a world record a few months ago and he's oh, wow. still diving after Frisbees. And I really think it is the flight of the disc. 
So you throw a ball to a friend, it goes up, comes down. You throw a frisbee and it actually flies through the air. So I think that's really what draws people. Um, very accessible, these are only about $5 to get a good frisbee and you can do so many different things with them. I never thought about the fact that they are flying through the air. That was really interesting. Thanks so much for when coming. When a ball in. dreams, it dreams it's a frisbee. <laughs> <laughs> I like that a lot. Thank you. You're welcome.